Now, because I have experience at like this, someone who experienced like this, I want you to understand that you do this at your own risk because if you're gonna cut it, the wire, understand there's no going back. But there it is. But the sound. Part of my job. What? I'm a YouTuber. Stop vlogging! Stop! Hey guys, so I am gonna do a small little project as of now. Right now. This is Gil, so we're back again with another video. I'm gonna do a small vlog. Let's open the garage. Don't mind the mess. It's always a mess around here. I had an idea the other day to do like a cheap fender eliminator for my bike. So I want to. Walmart thought about what I can get to uh, Get it super cheap and things like that because I wanted to remove This ugly thing on I'm gonna show you what I bought at Walmart and uh, maybe you can buy it too This is probably sub I did buy a rivet gun, but this is sub like sub $30 for a uh, fender eliminator So let's get to work. So I bought a rivet gun angle braces more rivets but I plan to do more things on there some Everstart quick connectors, and my biggest purchase was these uh, Position Pro, Position Pods, right? So, pretty bright. Without trying to move any fairings or anything like that, I'm trying to see what I can do just to put it back on there, or take off the fender on there. So as you can see, these 2020 jigsters, that's like, like most jigsters, they're held on by these screws right over here, which I will be taking out right there on uh, that wire we have to find another solution for that but this is the first thing we're going to have to do Well, as I said before, I don't have the tools right now for it, but I am gonna have basic tools right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it done with these basic tools to show how easy it is. So there's a 10 millimeter wrench right here. So as you can see, this is gonna start hanging off like this. So I don't intend to um, keep this right here. Nobody, nobody does. So I'm gonna just cut the wire, but I wanna give myself some space. So I'm gonna cut the wire at the very top here. So if you can see, I'm gonna cut it right here. 
I'm gonna cut it right here because I'm not gonna be reusing this. So I will be using the line here and get the power to uh, the cable. But before I do that, let me just make sure that this particular unit actually has the wires that I need. As you can see, these are the lights right here individually so I can drill them in and, wa and put washers in them and everything so that's good um, but this right here I will take off I know there's a control right here but only do this if you're familiar with all these things um, I will take these wires and circumvent them or hook them up to the wires that are in here once I figure out the wires that are in there, I'll let you know if you want to do the setup. But that's the goal at the moment right now. Now, because I have experience at this, somewhat of experience at this, I want you to understand that you do this at your own risk because if you're going to cut it, the wire, understand there's no going back. I cut the battery off of this now, right? Now, one is red and white, and one is white on this one. Now, I don't know which one's which, but I'm going to try to hook it up onto this and see which one's which, so... I'll better understand it. Now, I don't have any strippers, do I? <laughs> oh, no. So, like I said, I'm going to try to make this super basic. That basic. Right? Let me just do this because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean it up when I do it. I'm just testing work one. Okay, good. And then this one. I just need a constant on here. So I don't know which one's which, but I'm going to test it out if it turns on. I believe the white one is the ground. Let's see if it works. Let's turn it on. Okay, as you can see, the lights are go. So uh, once I drill it in here and hook it up inside here, it looks similar to up in here somewhere. Make it happen somewhere. It'll be just like this. Don't mind the noise back there. Hopefully you don't pick it up. So this is not going to be all garbage. I will be using this metal part. I'm going to take this off because trash. I will take this off and then do like that. So let's do that. So this is what it looks like, right? This is what it looks like. Now, understand that when this thing looks like it has an angle already. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of angled already. So depending on how you want to hook it up, because I got these brackets. I got these brackets right here. Depending on how you want to hold it up, hold it on there. Cause I'm planning to put the light somewhere over here, right? Somewhere over here. So, without disturbing too much or without drilling too many things, I don't really want to drill too many things. Then put it like this. It's gonna it's going to be down. So I'm gonna put it like this, slanted forward, so it slants this way, and the and the light can light it up. So, in order to make this happen, what I want to do is take these brackets, line it up right here. I believe I can get away with riveting them inside there. All right, let's try that out. Let's try this theory out. All right. The biggest one we can throw in there, right there. Yeah, I think I can. Look, I got the biggest one. Maybe a bigger one and longer one right there. I'm going to rivet that up. Let's open this rivet gun. Woo. And horses. What's on there? The rivet is on there right now. Will it move? It probably will. It's moving right now. If anything, I can always bolt it on there. That's that's fine. Um, that's fine. With the with the hardware that was on there already. But I'm looking for it to come off, honestly. And I don't think it will. But there is some play there, so that's fine for me at the moment. <laughs> So I got the two brackets on there. 
I don't know if you can see. The idea is to put it right up here. Maybe even here, dude. Perfect place right up there. So in wanting to get a cleaner setup, this thing's gone stupid now. I have taken off the seat. I will be taking off the fairings because of this cleaner setup that I want. And then we'll um, take care of it from there. Okay, so this has become a bit more difficult than I expected. However, I'm do I am making some leave some bounds. I did find a potential place to put it. So I tore everything down, which I have to say is not that hard. And I'm gonna hook it up right here. I can't technically put it back here, but the plate seems like it's just it's just too low. I'm gonna put it up here and the plate face there and have the light up there. So I don't know how much I'm going to capture on here. It's very basic like riveting and things like that, but I will show you the final product. So while my camera is charging, I found a way to just make sure this thing in the garage close it up. So this is the under tail. Um, this is where the tail light goes right here. And this is where I put the lights on there. So they should light very nicely. They should be tucked away. So it'll look like this. So they do give off a lot of light, therefore it should be super bright. I'm gonna tighten these up. Unfortunately, I have to take these and cut these off. So I'm gonna have to re-connect um, the lines and everything, which is not a big deal. I'm gonna tighten these up and then, um, as you can see, and then throw, throw them on the bike. So, as you can see, it's tucked right in there real nicely. The third one is hidden by this, but that's gonna get clamped down more. So that should be a decent setup right there. So I'm almost done. I hooked it up already. Got to put on the lights and everything, fairings and everything. But I just want you to check it out and see what it is, looks like. Hey guys, so I put the light, but I'll put everything back together. My beautiful wife. So as you can see, very bright. You can't miss that light. But there it is. It looks kind of crooked because it is. It wasn't put on. I should have done better with the, the actual thing, but that's, uh, you can always adjust that later. So it took me about three hours to do this. It's not five hours. My wife's gonna take a picture or a video of me going down the street. I wanna see how bright or whatever the light license plate is, but um, yeah. But the sound. Stop me! 